Hi, I'm Jesse Bacon, Superintendent of Bullitt County Public Schools, and welcome to the first in a series of videos where we'll be out talking to teachers, staff, and students about all the great things happening in our schools. Today, I'm at Bullitt East High School with Tiffany Darnell, MSD Special Education Teacher, and Katie Hoven, Instructional Assistant. You may have heard Bullitt, or Bullitt East High School was recently named a National Unified Champion School, the only school in the state this year to earn that designation. Tiffany, Katie, talk to us a little bit about what it means to be this, to earn this designation. Um, so to be a Unified Champion School, um, you have to complete 10 standards um, that require for you to have Unified uh, Sports, um, a Youth Activation Committee, and um, whole school engagement. The whole school engagement is very important to us. In the past three years, we've had an R Word video campaign that we shot throughout the whole school. Everybody was involved. We've had a speaker come in and talk to us about a disability that he actually got while he was in high school and how he and his success story. And then last year, we were able to host Fern Creek High School and have our first unified basketball game here and get the whole school involved. And that was a really cool experience. Tiffany and Katie are also club sponsors for the Project Unify Extracurricular Club here at Belize. Talk to us about what that program is and how it involves students across the school. Okay, so it is a uh, club that Katie and I both sponsor here at Bullet East High School, and it is made for any student and the whole school can be a part of it, um, and it's for students with and without intellectual disabilities. Um, and it's a way for them to um, go out and hang out with their peers outside of the classroom. We do some stuff in school, but most of the things that we do are, you know, on the weekend or after school. We have game day and um, they go bowling and different things like that. We, um, one of the other clubs, SLAM, they've actually sponsored a dance, we call it the Project Unified Prom. Um, <clears throat> that our school does, which is a really great opportunity for our kids to be able to have a dance that isn't as, you know, as much as going to the prom because they can't listen to the live music or they can't, you know, deal with the lighting and, and such. So um, really just Project Unify has a, a great way to collaborate and do things with everyone in the school. Right. And every year we also have several outings, like we go to the pumpkin patch and we always, at like, Christmas time, we do Christmas cards for the elderly. It's our um, service project for the year. And then we go see Christmas lights and take them out to dinner. And, you know, a lot of, and then we also do a walk in every year with our kids. And, you know, it's really cool because a lot of our kids don't get that opportunity to stay the night away. So if we can help bridge that gap and give them those, you know, um, experiences, it's just a, a really, really cool feeling. And it's good for everybody involved to see that. Tiffany and Katie, how can more folks from our school district and our community get involved in this movement? Um, well, I think it's a, a great way for this, um, any of the schools to become, um, you know, have Project Unify at their school. Or um, we have talked about, um, I've actually talked to several people um, in our school districts that, you know, are interested in starting in at their, at their school, you know, whether it be elementary, middle, or high school. Like, it's not just a high school-based um, club that we run, it, it could be, you know, it's unified, you know, so it can be done anywhere. Um, yeah. yeah, and you know, it's been really cool too because not only does it start, you know, it can start as early as elementary school, and you can actually be in unified clubs through college. And we have a lot of our kids that have, like, peers that have graduated and gone on to UofL and gone on to EKU and become peer mentors in their clubs that they're starting at the college level. And so it's been really cool to kind of see them grow be really cool to have an elementary school get hair been this club and I've done this since I was this age. And then it just makes the inclusion movement just grow. That's what educating us on a smaller scale. So. Well, Disney, Katie, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today and talk to our community and give them a little bit more information about inclusion and Project Unify and all the great things that's going on here at Bull East. Tune in next week. We'll have more information for, about other great things going on in our school district. Until then, we're moving forward.